How does sleep quality affect our sex life? Is it true that lack of sexual desire is always a problem? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Lack of sleep can decrease libido and negatively affect sexual response due to fatigue and hormonal dysregulation. Good sleep quality is associated with better sexual functioning and increased satisfaction. Establishing healthy sleep habits is essential for a satisfying sex life. Lack of sexual desire can be natural and vary among individuals. It is not a problem if it does not cause distress in the person or the relationship. However, it may become a problem if it negatively affects quality of life or relationships. Open communication and, if necessary, professional guidance can be helpful in addressing any concerns. Primary prevention. In addition to using condoms during sexual intercourse, other primary prevention strategies include reducing the number of sexual partners and practicing sexual abstinence. Psychological factors. Stress, anxiety, depression, and self-esteem issues have been found to contribute to premature ejaculation. These psychological factors can negatively impact a man's ability to control his sexual response. Relationship with erectile. Dysfunction. Premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction are often related, and some individuals may experience both conditions simultaneously. Relaxation and sexual performance. Foreplay helps women relax and release tension, which can improve their sexual performance and increase the likelihood of reaching orgasm during penetration. Seduction games. Seduction and flirting are key components of foreplay as they increase sexual tension and anticipation, setting the stage for a more intense and satisfying sexual experience. Seminars and workshops. Events and workshops dedicated to the study and practice of the Kama Sutra are organized worldwide, providing opportunities to learn and experience its teachings interactively. Sex therapy. Sex therapists often incorporate concepts and techniques from the Kama Sutra into their sessions to help couples improve their communication, intimacy, and sexual satisfaction. Sexual diversity. Human sexuality encompasses a wide range of sexual orientations, including heterosexuality, homosexuality, bisexuality, and pansexuality, among others. Sexual fantasies and erotic literature. Erotic literature has been a source of inspiration for many people in their sexual fantasies. Erotic stories can allow people to explore scenarios and experiences that may not be possible in real life. Sexual pleasure at all stages of life. Sexual pleasure is not limited to youth. People of all ages can enjoy a satisfying and fulfilling sex life. Sexuality is an integral part of human well-being at all stages of life. Sexuality and culture. Sexuality is strongly influenced by cultural factors, such as social norms, religious beliefs, and family traditions, which can lead to a wide diversity of attitudes and sexual practices in different parts of the world. Sexuality and art. Since ancient times, sexuality has been a recurring theme in art, represented in paintings, sculptures, and other forms of artistic expression as a reflection of cultural and social beliefs about the body and desire. Sexuality in old age. Sexuality does not stop with age. Many older people enjoy an active and satisfying sex life, and it is important to challenge negative stereotypes about sexuality in old age. Shockwave therapy for erectile dysfunction. Shockwave therapy is a non-invasive treatment that uses acoustic waves to improve blood flow to the penis, which may help improve erectile function in some men. Sleep benefits. Masturbation before bedtime can help some women fall asleep more easily, as it releases relaxing hormones and reduces stress. Social taboo. Although fetishes are common and natural, there are still social taboos surrounding certain fetishes, 
especially those considered uncommon or socially unacceptable. This can lead individuals with fetishes to feel stigmatized or ashamed of their sexual interests. Spontaneity versus planning. While some women prefer spontaneous and unpredictable sexual encounters, others may feel more comfortable and relaxed when sexual activities are planned or scheduled in advance. Stress and erectile dysfunction. Chronic stress can contribute to erectile dysfunction by negatively affecting hormone levels, blood circulation, and overall mental health. Finding ways to manage stress, such as exercise, meditation, and therapy can help improve erectile function. In countries like Sweden and Finland, sexual education policies based on the positive sexual health approach have been implemented, promoting sexual well-being, autonomy, and respect for diversity. Technological fetishism. With the advancement of technology, new fetishes related to electronic devices have emerged, such as attraction to sex robots or excitement over virtual reality. The concept of fluid sexuality. Sexuality is not always static and can change over time. Some people experience fluid sexuality, where their desires and attractions may fluctuate at different times in their lives. The impact of culture on sexuality. Cultural beliefs and social norms can influence how people perceive and express their sexuality. It is important to question and challenge cultural expectations to develop authentic and satisfying sexuality. The importance of consent. Mutual and freely given consent is fundamental in any sexual activity. It's important that all parties involved in a sexual encounter agree and feel comfortable with what is happening. The importance of sexual self-care. Sexual self-care involves making informed and responsible decisions about one's own sexuality, including the use of contraceptives, prevention of sexually transmitted diseases, sexual health care, and seeking professional help when necessary. The influence of the media. The media, including film, television, and music, can influence attitudes and beliefs about sexuality by perpetuating gender stereotypes, idealizing certain body types, and promoting specific sexual behaviors. The sexual response cycle. The sexual response cycle, which includes the phases of excitement, plateau, orgasm, and resolution, can vary in duration and experience for each individual and in different sexual contexts. Toys for erectile. Dysfunction. In addition to vibrators and stimulators for women, there are also sex toys designed to help men experiencing erectile dysfunction, such as penis rings and vacuum pumps. Toys for seniors. There are sex toys specifically designed for older adults, taking into account the needs and physical limitations that may arise with age. Toys with shock components. Some sex toys are equipped with electrical components to provide tingling sensations, pulsations, or small electric shocks, known as erotic electrostimulation. Types of anorgasmia. There are two main types of anorgasmia. Primary, in which the individual has never experienced an orgasm, and secondary, where the individual has had orgasms in the past but no longer experiences them. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.